Okay, bag work. I want to show you how to do bag work correctly, or the way I like to see bag work done. Um, you do it the same as you're going to do your shallow spinal shadow boxing, except obviously you put your power into it. First of all, can I say I've got a shoulder injury, and it leads up to the neck, and my bloody neck's hurting. So um, I'm only going to tap it nice and gently. But let's give you, for instance, your jabs, your number one tool. Come around this way, Joe. So from there, this way. I'll just go medium speed, I throw a jab, you can bob down, okay? Jab, slip, jab and lean back. Don't just do a jab and stay there. So I don't care what single shots or combinations you throw, you have to move, all right? One, two, roll. So from there, bop, bop, you can roll around this way. Bop, bop, you can lean back. Bop, bop, you can slip. Same thing again, all right? Now watch my footwork. Footwork is key, okay? So normally speaking, you fight from orthodox to orthodox. I'll leave my left have a box and leave with his left, okay? That's the normal way. So you try and go to your right-hand side as much as you can. Obviously, you go around to the left, but the key thing is stepping to the right-hand side, all right? So there's just a few little tips. So I'm gonna do some bad work now. As I say, I'm only gonna tap it because of my injury, all right? but you're going to see the way I like to see bad work done. And the same thing, you shouldn't just stand there like this. I see lots of videos, everyone standing there. It's terrible. Why are you staying there for? All the time you're standing there, you're going to get hit. Okay? Stick and move, create angles. So here we go. Just start off nice and relaxed. So do you get the idea? Stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. Don't stand there, okay? Try and let the punches flow, fluency. That's it my friends, thank you Joe.